Hi everybody, Roberto from Vibe Academy here. In this episode I want to compare two iconic phasers. The first is the Phase 90, made by MXR. The second is the small stone made by Electro Harmonics. But before we start, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, so we can continue making videos. The Phase 90 was the first pedal produced by MXR in 1974. This pedal actually helped launch the company. The Small Stone by Electroharmonics was also produced in 1974. It was the direct rival of the Phase 90. Nowadays, the stock versions of both pedals are produced with SMD technology and have a true bypass switch. They are similarly priced with the MXR being slightly more expensive. As you can see, the controls on both pedals are really essential, just one knob to set the speed of the modulation. The small stone has the color switch that makes the phase shifting sound deeper. Both pedals have four stages of phase shifting. Let's see how the pedals sound individually.
So after doing the sound test, I can say, starting from phase 90, the volume of the guitar is increased when the pedal is active. The phaser effect is very present even at a lower speed and it increases the body of the sound. I really like the zero to halfway speed settings for rhythm playing using crunch or distortion and over halfway for clean sounds. Even at high speeds the phaser stays balanced and the good thing is that is really similar to the effect you can get with the Leslie. The oscillation when the speed control is at the minimum is faster on the phase 90 than it is with the same setting on the small stone. Personally, I like the pedal better with distorted sounds than with the clean sound. And I still prefer the phase 90 compared to the small stone at high speeds, for sure. Talking about the small stone, even with this pedal the volume is slightly boosted when the pedal is turned on. The oscillation set to the minimum is slower than the oscillation set to the minimum in the phase 19 and the pedal has a more, let's say, smooth, buttery, rounded effect in the bass, which I personally love. I really like playing clean rhythm or arpeggios with the rate at the minimum. The color switch emphasizes the oscillation by increasing the pedal's range, meaning the effect is more intense and the volume also increases slightly and, technically speaking, higher harmonics are added into the signal. One thing I don't like about this pedal is the fact you can't use the rate knob uh, close to the maximum. The speed is really too high and the pedal starts making a glitched sound mixed with your guitar sound. And I also have an original small stone version 3 from the 80s and a version 4 reissue from the 90s and this noise is not present with either one. I'm not sure if it's the pedal's normal behavior or if it could be related with the DC adapter. If you know something more about it, please tell us in the comments, it would be useful. Thanks for watching. If you have any topic suggestions for the future or any comments about these pedals and the video, write them in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, please help out a fellow musician and smash that subscribe button now, before the video finishes. If you have already subscribed, thank you again, see you next time, ciao!